guys. Ooh, 3-1. Guys, 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 guys. Listen. The Boxing Day curse is officially over. Okay? It's officially over. Because remember last season. By that by this time, we were crying, right? After losing against Arsenal 3-1. And today. We won 3-1. So it's all good, man. All good. They don't have to uh, to poison our uh, boxing day anymore. So Chelsea 3, Aston Villa 1. And Steven Gerrard wasn't there, unfortunately. Get well soon. He got the virus, so he couldn't be there. But hey, we got the job done at the end. That is the most important. You know what? I said it before the game in my preview. All I wanted to see is us winning this game. No matter how. But the game wasn't... You know, the score is kind of lying a little bit because of everything that's happened during this game. But hey, I would take it. I would take it, man. I would take it. Okay, okay, guys. So, the lineup was uh, kind of expected, really. Uh, my lineup, I didn't want to see Marcos Alonso at the beginning, but it is what it is. Probably the manager doesn't have any choice. And it was a very strong lineup. Very, very strong one. And uh, in the first half, we did what uh, what the Chelsea, <laughs> the Chelsea thing is all about, right? Which is like dominating creating chances without anybody scoring any goal so um and i didn't really get too harsh on on players because many of them are coming from uh injuries or from you know the, the, the virus and all that so i pretty much knew that we're gonna get tired at some point it's gonna be very difficult for us to keep up for 90 minutes nobody wanna postpone our games for some reason, it's only Chelsea to play all the games and other teams are having a little bit of break. So, what I can say is that we score all four goals, okay? <laughs> because Rhys James scored for them. You can blame whoever you want, but when you have to make a decision in half a second and you try to jump to block the ball and somehow the ball hit you from the wrong the wrong side of your head and goes at the back of the net i don't think that you should really be blaming Rhys james but this is uh, what we do we try to target somebody and we're gonna blame that person it was an all on goal probably james mistake but those kind of mistakes it's it's uh it's it's happening in football you know what i mean but i don't think that's on purpose somebody is going to head the ball to his own net so it is what it is man it is what it is all right people so this game we had to win after watching arsenal completely destroying uh uh norway city away five that was expected right and then another london club beating uh Crystal Palace 3, 3-0. Three Tottenham Hotspurs 3, Crystal Palace 0. We had just to win, man. No matter what, we were not going to, to lose that game. Man City completely destroyed. Uh, Leicester City 6-3. Yeah. I believed in a comeback, but it didn't, it didn't really happen. So we had to win the game. And I'm so glad at the end of the day that we won the game. All I'm going to do now is to go back and watch the game again so I can make my player ratings out of all the sentiment and, uh, you know, emotions because I know that we won. So I can I, I can be more composed. But this one is just like my, my instant reaction after the game to tell you what I saw during the game.
All right, guys. Let's now talk about some individuals here. Okay, Jorginho Frelo with two penalties. You you need uh, some skills to score penalties because it's not easy. Okay, people are expecting you to score, and we've seen Jorginho missing a lot of penalties with the national team and also with Chelsea. So you have to give it to him, man. The captain. Jorginho today well done two penalties and uh, yeah I don't I just don't want him to be our top scorer <laughs> this season I want somebody to score proper goals not only penalties because we can't always depend on uh, on uh, getting lucky getting some lucky penalties and scoring goals we have to find a way of scoring goals and uh, Lukaku let's now talk about Romelu Lukaku who uh, score a very very good header that is a proper proper striker kind of goal and um, if it was Pulisic there he wasn't going to score that kind of goal because he's not the number nine we were playing him in the wrong position people you have to understand that Pulisic you can force him whatever you want from the first nine position a lone striker or whatever it's just not going to work out leave Christian Pulisic alone, play him in his natural position just the way we did with Kalim hassan and let's judge him from that position. So far, he's been played out of position. What else? Manson Mount missed some sitters, but like I said, man, same old, same old. I don't want to repeat. We are not clinical our front three are not clinical at all. And Manson Mount need to work on his finishing. Okay? He's my boy. I always support my boys. But you have to be honest. You have to tell the truth that our boys are missing a lot of opportunities. Kalum Hassan Adoy the same. How the hell? How the hell can you miss that one-on-one? -on -one? And it's not the first time. It's happening over and over and over again. We need to start scoring goals instead of being reactive after conceding a stupid goal and we are rushing because it's mine, it's mine not work next time. So, Kalum Hasanadoy and also Manson Mount, they have to stay even longer, okay, at Cobham Training Center keep practicing 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 and then you're gonna get better what else can i say here people like i said this is just my instant reaction i'm very happy for the three point but it didn't really seems like it was a three point uh, a three three one kind of games and um also, Aston Villa didn't really offer us, you know, they, they were not like in their top level. Probably because the manager wasn't there to encourage them or whatever. But it is what it is. Three points in the pocket. Mandy didn't keep the clean sheet, unfortunately. But we still, uh, what position on the, on the table now? I don't want to even talk about the position because it makes me very angry. But we still top four and we move to the next one. Now it's time to recover and prepare for the next game. And that is a nightmare for a manager like Thomas Tuchel. Thiago Silva, injured. Engolo Kante came off also injured. Chaloba, probably injured. I don't know, on top of many injuries that we already have in the team, Lord have mercy. What is going on? I was celebrating already that... We have pretty much everybody back and January is going to be better. But if those injuries are confirmed and we can, we, we're going to miss somebody like N'Golo Kante for two more weeks or three, I don't know what to do, man. Let's, uh, let's uh, hope and pray, fingers crossed, that uh, it's not a big deal. It was just like knocks here and there and they're going to be back very soon. Thiago Silva, it didn't look good at all, you know. It looks like a hamstring. He asked himself to be subbed. Engolo Kante also asked himself to be subbed. I'm not very sure about uh, Trevor Chaluba. 
and I haven't watched the press conference yet, so I don't really know much about it and I don't want to speculate, but fingers crossed, everybody is coming back the very next game or something like that. Anyways, people, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, show some love to your brother, and I will see you next time. Blue is the color, and we keep moving. Go you blues.